Hey guys, before we get into this video, just want to let you know that this is part two of this bundle opening video. If you're interested in checking out part one, and I highly recommend it because it was a pretty good half of the bundle opening. I think you're going to enjoy it if you didn't watch it. Click on the top right corner of your screen. I will leave a link to the video there and uh, go over there, check that one out first, and then head back on over here, guys. There will also be a link to that video in the description below. So thank you guys. Enjoy that video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. What do you guys think I should do? Should I go with Vic? Would you guys rather see Mike Vic or would you guys rather see Jay Cutler? What, what do you want to see? Or would you rather see bum-ass Alex Smith? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm kind of leaning towards Cutler right now and see what, uh, or maybe I'll just look and see which one is selling for more and I'll sell the one that's more expensive because I'd kind of be happy with either. Doug Martin for a running back? Eh, eh. Let's compare them real quick because we do have the uh, free Bo Jackson and there's also the free LaDainian Tomlinson as well that I will be getting here. Um, we might do a video on that. We'll see. I know a lot of the other people are doing videos on that. I've also got Ahmad Bradshaw. And if you guys don't know, Dree Archer, the low-key beast, 96 speed, 95 acceleration. If you're looking for a speedy running back out of the backfield, Dree Archer is your man in this game for super, super cheap. You can get him by actually just completing the first solo challenge. You don't even need to buy him. Uh, but yeah, I don't think Doug Martin's going to replace Bo Jackson as our starter. Clay Harbor at tight end. Eh, what can you do with that? We're starting to go a little bit dry here. We did get Mike Vick, which is kind of exciting just because I've always been a Mike Vick fan. And we get Eli Manning. Okay. Eh, nothing really. I'm, I, like, I'm not super excited to have Eli Manning. I mean, we're just getting quarterback after quarterback at this point. Let's, let's compare him to Jay Cutler just for kicks. Because he's definitely going to have some better attributes. Yeah, he's way better in throw accuracy pretty much across the board. Throw accuracy short's the same, but his throw power is way lower. He's not as quick. His play action's a lot better, which is nice. Um, the throw accuracy deep is a little bit better. But, man, I'm not sure with that 89 throw power if he's going to be able to get it deep to Julio. I don't know. You guys got to let me know after this what, what quarterback you want to see. Because I keep adding on more and more quarterbacks. I wish I was pulling something else. Some uh, other positions. Let's get some variety in here, man. But, uh, all right, so not much in this pack. Eli Manning are definitely our best pull of that one. Come on. Give me something else good. And we get a Will Smith. Eh, he could be good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Josh Johnson. Um, let's take a look real quickly at our right ends. Because I don't think we really have much here. We got Jeremy Mincy. So Jeremy Mincy's a little bit quicker. A little bit better power move. Not quite as good a block shedding. They're kind of close to one another, and I don't think this is a real substantial upgrade, so uh, we'll probably stick with Jeremy Mincy. Let's continue to go on here. I'm going to go from the back on this one as well. Come on, Viking Stadium, TCF Bank Stadium. They're going to be going to that cool-ass new stadium next year. I've, I've actually heard rumors that there's going to be WrestleMania here in Minnesota in a couple of years, uh, so that would be pretty exciting. We get Max Starks for a right tackle. Let's compare him real quickly. I know I said I'm not going to sit and mess around with all these packs, but I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision. So he is definitely going to be our starting right tackle, it looks like. Uh, way better pass block. Run block is close to being similar, uh, but way better strength as well and better awareness, better speed even as well. So um, yeah, I think we're probably going to go with Max Starks as our new starting right tackle at a 77 overall. Hopefully we can continue to upgrade that, but not too bad. At least we're getting players that are going to help our team. You know, I don't think we're going to have a Mr. Golden Sports team or anything like that anytime soon. But, all right, Akeem Ayers, he's he's all right. Um, what, let's see what we got here. Yeah, he's definitely going to start as well. Um, yeah, certainly way faster with way better acceleration. That's pretty much what I look for, uh, at least at the beginning of Madden, when most of these players don't have good attributes to begin with. You, you pretty much just want speed and uh, acceleration, if nothing else, so that you can at least chase the players down after they beat you, right? So he's going to be our new starter there. We'll have to do uh, an upgrade and uh, just, you know, continue to kind of rotate through and... Um, you know, we'll, after this whole thing, we'll we'll do an update for our lineup and see what our overall is at after this whole bundle opening. We went, again, from a 70 overall to whatever we go to. Get another defensive tackle. So we've got a couple of defensive tackles that we've opened here, and maybe we can get somebody else uh, on the defensive line to help them out. Jaguars away jerseys. I actually kind of like how the Jaguars jerseys look now, by the way. 
and we get another defensive tackle. Sharif Floyd, though, this is definitely our best defensive tackle, I think, that we've opened. So let's compare him real quickly to the other guys that we've got. Yeah, Phil Taylor um, was the other best one that we've opened. But look at that power move. The finesse move is even better. Pursuit's better. Block shedding's better. Speed is better. Yeah, Sharif Floyd is kind of a beast, actually. It's kind of a little bit of a beast. I like it. So uh, we might be going Phil Taylor, Sharif Floyd here in the middle of our defensive line. That's not too bad anyway. Hopefully we can get another elite. Come on. I don't want to be greedy, but damn. Let's go, baby. Come on. And we get Tyson Jackson. Eh, he's not going to be a whole lot of an upgrade for us. And, okay, EJ Gaines. All right. Getting some decent players in the secondary. Okay. Let's keep moving on here. Sun Life Stadium. We get Michael Humanawa Mui. I, I probably completely botched that. Humanawa Mui. I don't know how to pronounce it. Kuma Nawa Nui. There we go. That is the biggest tongue twister of a name I think you'll ever come across. And we get another Super Bowl patch. All right, let's go. That's nice. Super Bowl, what is that? Super Bowl 13, I think, if I'm counting correctly, if I know my Roman numerals. It's been a while since I've been in school, but we'll see what these are going for. I, I think they're still going for around 10K or so, maybe a little bit cheaper than that now, maybe 5 to 10K, somewhere in that range. So at least it's good enough to pay for the pack could be a lot worse and we get fred jackson for a halfback and eh, he's not going to be much of an upgrade over Bo. i don't think we'll compare him real real quick i don't think he's going to be much of an upgrade over Bo. certainly not in the receiving game yeah that's not even close is it yeah nine speed faster we're not even talking about this fred jackson we're not even talking about this sorry pimpy and nothing much else out of this pack all right, I, we got to be getting close to the end, dude. I haven't done a 40 bundle in forever. Hey, Tebow! What if I quick sold him right now? Some people would get pissed. Some people would dislike the shiznit out of this video, man. Just real, real quick if I did that. All right, Donald Butler in the middle for middle linebacker. Okay, we could do worse than that. All right. What is Donald Butler's speed real quick? That's what I'm interested in. We need somebody that we can use her over the middle. Ah, oh, gosh. 81 speed, though. You're so slow. Ah, uh, his other attributes are so much better, though. I think we got to go with Donald Butler as our new starter. That frustrates me. We got to get some guys with speed, man. We need somebody with, like, 80 or above speed in the middle, for sure, so that I can user them, get those user picks. All right, let's keep moving forward here, guys. And we get DJ Hayden. Okay. Let's get some big upgrades here. Come on. and anything decent we get Whitney Merciless okay eh not really a whole lot of value there 77 overall probably decent enough to find a spot somewhere on my defense I'm not sure he's gonna play over Akeem Ayers maybe well yeah he's a little bit faster a little bit better excel yeah maybe he can play right outside I don't know we'll see yeah, I think he'll probably end up playing right outside for me, so we'll have to rearrange that just a little bit, or left outside maybe even, excuse me. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what we can do with, with that. I need some speed on my secondary and in my linebacker group. Aaron Henderson. And Brandon LaFell. Eh. We need somebody else that can stretch the field with Julio, you know? So maybe Brandon LaFell can be that. I don't know. He's definitely... I assume that he's my second uh, best wide receiver. I think I just demoted Julio on accident when I did that. No, he's... I forgot. We do have Doug Baldwin. Doug Baldwin's definitely better than Brandon LaFell. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what, what it looks like here. But Julio, definitely number one. And we'll see what happens between um, Brandon LaFell and Doug Baldwin. Maybe we can get... Man, it would be nice to really get somebody else. Maybe I'll go out there and get, like, a Doriel Green Beckham or something like that. Some other just giant wide receiver that can go down there and aggressive catch. Just scare the crap out of defenses. Send them on a streak every single play. Just terrify people. And we get a Brandon Flowers Elite. That is, what, our fourth Elite pull? Damn. Fourth Elite pull, I think, in this bundle. And on top of that, we pulled a couple of uh, Super Bowl badges as well. Brandon Flowers, not a bad player. Uh, five foot nine is a little short. But I, I'm definitely happy to have an upgrade at cornerback because I, I think we've pretty much had garbage at cornerback so far. Yeah, look at that upgrade. 
he's pretty much better across the board. He's a little bit shorter. Um, so, you know, that's that's something to be a little bit concerned about at five foot nine. But he's better in every other attribute other than speed. And the uh, the acceleration will make up for that. So, you know, um, yeah, that's that's a pretty good card. I'm, I'm pretty happy to have Rain of Flowers on the team. Hopefully he can be a beast. He's not much to be able to stop that aggressive catching, though. We need to get, like, an Antonio Cromartie or something like that to pair with him so that we can, uh, if we go up against any of those giant receivers, that we can, you know, try and shut him down a little bit. If, if we go up against a Julio of, of somebody else's, we don't want to get beat every play. Tyrone Crawford on defensive tackle. Let's take a quick look at that. Because I know we've been pulling some defensive tackles. So we've got Sharif Floyd and Phil Taylor currently. So Sharif Floyd is definitely going to start because he's a beast. Um, Tyrone Crawford might be able to start. His strength is so low, though. Oh, my goodness. That is low for strength. He might be really bad against the run. He might be really, really bad against the run. He might be kind of one of those defensive tackle spe uh, pass rush specialists. So we'll have to think about that one. We'll have to think about that one. I'm not sure. Let's keep pulling. And nothing else. All right. I don't know. Like I said, man, it looks like, feels like these packs are just going on forever. This is going to be a long ass video, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, though. Again, if you are enjoying the video, do me a favor and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, help me out. Hit that subscribe button as well. If you guys want to see some more bundles, let me know. We get a left guard. So this is almost certainly going to be the best left guard that we have, right? We have to look here. Yeah, way, way big upgrade. Well, the strength is terrible, and his pass block isn't very good, but wow. I'm kind of interested to see, like, what is it that's making Andrew Norwell so much better than Willie Colon? Because he's five lower in strength, three lower in pass block. He does have a way better impact block. I get it. And his speed's better. His acceleration is better, but his awareness is 11 lower, and he's, well, okay, Willie Cologne's run block is 70. Okay, never mind. Now I know why. Now, now I just realized why. All right, we're gonna go with Andrew. We're gonna go with Andrew Norwell as our starting left guard. I, I didn't catch that one at first. Wow, 70 for a run block. Damn, that's that's some bad attributes right there, dude. That is terrible. All right, nothing in that pro pack really. I wonder what they're gonna do as far as like the uh, promotional packs. I might be, I might have spent a lot of money on this game this year, guys. I don't know. We'll see. Dwight Freeney, right outside linebacker. He's probably going to be pretty quick. Probably decent in a 3-4. Yeah, 82 speed, 91 excel. Obviously, he's going to have a great finesse move because it's Dwight Freeney. Let's see what it actually is, though. Uh, his 91 finesse move, so that's pretty beastly. We, we, we would really only be able to use him in a 3-4. Um, or if we decided to actually bump him down and play defensive end in a 4-3, potentially. I'm not sure. We'll have to think about that one, but it's nice to have the option with Dwight Freeney there. First card out here, Andre Johnson. There we go. So we, we get another twin tower to go along with Julio Jones. He's older. He's slower at only an 83 speed, but he's big and he's physical, and that is going to be good for us. 87 catching. Let's take a look at his like spec catch and that kind of stuff because that's really where it matters for going up on those aggressive catches. 83 spectacular catch, 92 catch in traffic, though. That could be really good for us. Um, 83 route running. So, um, yeah, he is definitely going to be our second wide receiver next to Julio Jones, and then we'll have to see what happens between um, Doug Baldwin and Brandon LaFell for our slot receiver. Although I don't run. I do, I, I don't know. I run some three wide sets. I, I, I've been going back and forth on that so far. We'll have to see what I end up doing here in this game more. So it's nice to get Andre Johnson, though. I'm pretty happy about that. Another Brandon LaFell. That sucks. Oh, what is this? A Legends badge. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Legends badge. Holy crap. That is awesome. I have no, like, I am just astonished right now, man. That is crazy. That is crazy. I I am, uh, wow. Got a freaking Legends badge, dude. Awesome pull. Awesome, awesome pull. We'll have to see what that's going for, man, because I, I don't remember off the top of my head what this card is going for. I'm not going to quick sell it. Jeez, I almost did that. Um, but, yeah, Legends badge, dude. That is awesome. That is a, that is a really, really, really nice pull. So, 
Whew, we're getting some good luck here, man. We really are. This has been a pretty pretty successful bundle opening, I have to say. Brandon Carr, we get him, so he's going to have to play probably next to his old Kansas City Chiefs partner in crime, Brandon Flowers. Let's see what he looks like against our other corners here that we have, though. EJ Gaines, uh, he's a little slower than him. Does have better press. Man coverage is lower, though, and, and zone coverage is lower, too. I don't know if we can go with Brandon Carr above... Uh, EJ Gaines. He it, he is six foot tall, so he's a couple inches taller. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Do we go with Brandon Carr? Do we go with the old Chiefs duo? Or do we let EJ Gaines play? Or do we go with, uh, do we even go with Bradley Roby as our other starter? I'm not, I don't know. We got some good options here at, at cornerback. At least, at least we don't have just terrible players at corner. Let's see what else we get in this pack. Charger Stadium. And Alex Tanny. All right, so nothing much in this one. And, all right, D'Angelo Williams. Eh, I love the, the red tips on his hair, by the way. I, I wish that since he was playing on the Panthers, I wish he would have gone with, like, the blue tips. That would have looked really, really nice. Um, but now, I don't know. Um, D'Angelo Williams on the Steelers. Eh, he can go with the red if he wants to. It kind of matches with the uniform with the red and the logo, but whatever. Um, so not much in this pack opening either. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for like a Doriel Green Beckham or some sort of silver stud that can light it up for us. Jerry Hughes. All right, so we're talking pass rusher here with Jerry Hughes. Let's take a look at these attributes here. 81 speed, 85 excel. Strength is probably not going to be good, uh, but the finesse move should be great. 96 finesse move. All right. So we probably don't need Dwight Freeney to play defensive end for us. We can probably go with Jerry Hughes as far as a pass rusher in a 4-3. He's not really too built to play defensive line in a 3-4, though. So we're kind of getting a hodgepodge here of 3-4 and 4-3 players. And that looks like it's going to be the final pro pack, guys. So let's see what we get in this one. Hopefully we can get one more elite. That would be amazing, but I'm not complaining. I think we've done very, very well for ourselves in this so far. So Marlon Brown, eh, that's probably going to be our best pull. Bakari Rambo, okay. Get two golds at least. And that is going to do it for this pack opening video, guys. We did pretty well for ourselves. Let's go back here and let's do an auto update for our team. Uh, let's just go in and see what we are at now as far as an overall based on uh, what they recommend for us. Um, how the hell do we get to our freaking lineup? I'm trying to remember. It's Oh, there we go. Adjust lineup. It is still pretty much the same menu system as Madden 15. It looks a little nicer now. Um, but uh, similar as far as like how you do it. So let's go generate best lineup. Best team overall. And we move all the way up to a 79 overall. So that is pretty nice. We got Tyron Smith at left tackle. Where's our big missing spots? Our center is terrible. Um, running back, we're going to go with Bo Jackson above Fred Jackson. Come on now. Come on now. That doesn't even look close. Doug Baldwin in the slot. Okay. Andre Johnson on the outside. Uh, fullback. Yeah, that is actually a pretty good spot for him, I think. Why, what is this? Why is he our third quarterback? What the hell? All right, let's take Eli Manning out. Um, we're probably going to go with Jay Cutler there. Um, and maybe we go like, maybe we go, maybe we go Eli Manning and maybe we go Mike Vick as our backup. I don't know. What do you guys think about that duo? What do you guys think about Eli Manning, Mike Vick, or Jay Cutler, Mike Vick? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Or do you want Vick at, at starting quarterback? Do you want, do you want the Mike Vick experience here in your lives? All right. So free safety. We're looking pretty bad. We might have to go out there and acquire ourselves a decent uh, strong safety or a, a decent free safety because right now we're starting strong safeties at free safety and they're not very high overall middle linebacker we're still we're kind of slow there so we might want to make some upgrades there cornerback we're doing okay I think our offense is pretty stacked defensively we got to make some upgrades but I love having Dante Whitner that's nice and we we've got Brandon Flowers now so we've got a couple of elites on the defense we've got ourselves some decent players here um, on offense as well we've got obviously Julio Jones we opened up Tyron Smith as well um, man that's this is a pretty nice pack opening guys so first pack opening on Madden 16 I know it was a long one but I hope you guys stuck with me and I hope you enjoyed it if you did do me a favor one more time hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.